Dear students, in the last class we discussed about solution of a system of linear equations. We studied that there are two types of linear systems. One is homogeneous linear systems and another one non-homogeneous linear systems. So here the system is homogeneous linear system because the constants in the right hand side are all zeros. If there is any one non-zero element in this right hand side we say that the system is non-homogeneous. In the last class we studied about the solution of non-homogeneous linear systems and today we will discuss about the solution of homogeneous systems. Non-homogeneous linear system in the solution parna samayitha namla parnu ellal polum system consistent aayirikkanam ennilla. Consistent means that the system is solvable. Adayadha ee kaanunna n ikke m equations satisfy cheyna reedhiyil x1, x2, etc, xn variables exist cheyna nandengil appol aanu namli system consistent aanu ennu parayga. Non-homogeneous system aanengil ellai polum system consistent aayirikkanam ennu illa. That is we may not find the variables x1, x2, etc, xn which satisfy all these equations. Pakshe homogeneous system aanengil ellai polum itirathil uru system consistent aayirikkum. Karanam இவ்விடை right hand sideலில்ல constants எல்லாம் தென்ன zeros ஆனம் அது உண்ட x1, x2, etc, xn எல்லா variablesினும் zero என்ன substituteயானங்கள் that will be a solution to this linear system therefore a homogeneous linear system is always consistent and one of its solution is all the variables equal to zero சோபாவிகமாயும் நம்மல் இனி try-ையாம் போன்னது zero அல்லாத்த மட்டு solutions homogeneous systemத்தின் உண்டோ என்னான so existence of non-trivial solutions theorem says that a homogeneous system of equation of this form possesses non-trivial solutions if the number m of equations is less than the number n of variables இவுடை x1, x2, etc, xn n variables ஆன இ சிஸ்டத்தில் பியோயிச்சிட்டில்லது ஆக equations இந்தே என்னம் இவுடன் உட்கியல்லாரேம் 1, 2, etc, m ஆன m equations என்று இவுடை இன் number of equations, number of variables நீக்கால் சிருத்த அனை இங்கில் this system has non-trivial solution. சிரு அல்லாத்த மட்டு solutions இ சிஸ்டத்தின் உண்டாவனம் இங்கில் number of equations, number of variables நீக்கால் குறவா இருக்கினாம். So let's have a problem. இது homogeneous linear system is 2x1 minus 4x2 plus 3x3 equal to zero. x1 plus x2 minus 2x3 equal to zero. இவுடை number of equations 2 ஆன, number of variables 3 ஆன, 2 is less than 3. Therefore, this system has non-trivial solutions. Problem solve செய்யுந்து, மும்ப நமில் non-homogeneous system solve செய்து அதே methodலான, ஆக difference இந்தாவா, இவுடை right hand sideல் எல்லா, equation the right hand sideல் எல்லா, இப்புடும் zero ஆயது கொண்ட, இ last callத்தில் நம்க்கு separate ஆயிட்ட, operations ஒன்னும் தன்ன, நடத்தேண்ட ஆவிஷு உண்டாவில்லா பாக்கியில் மெட்ரிக்சினை நம்மில் row equivalent formulaக்கு மாட்டுமும் row equivalent canonical formulaக்கு மாட்டுமும் அதவா echelon formulaக்கு மாட்டுமும் சு நம் காதின் செய்யேண்டுது first rowயில்லை இ first element non zero ஆயது கொண்டு அது 1 ஆயிருக்கினம் சு நம் கிவுடை எடுப்பல்லது first render rows interchange செய்கிலானம் so we interchange the first two rows and we get the matrix like this now we have to make this 2 as zero so we do the operation here the element is 2 So, we will take the negative of that. So, minus 2 R1 plus R2. So, our operation is second row ilu muruan chedhu yanyan. Itharadhul eru matrix namki lebikyum. We will do the same thing. Minus 6 and element in 1 naki maatri and adhanu. Multiply the second row with minus 1 by 6. Then make this element 1 as 0. By the operation minus R2 plus R1. R1 becomes minus R2 plus R1. So, we will get a matrix like this. Now, we will write the corresponding equations. So, we may write the equations as x1 minus 5 by 6 x3 equal to 0. Second equation is x2 minus 7 by 6 x3 equal to 0. If we have three variables, we have two equations. We have to consider one variable as a free variable. 3 minus 2, that is equal to 1. So, we have to make one variable as a free variable. இவுடை X1 என்ன கரச்பாண்டிங்க ஆயிடல் first கோலத்தில leading 1 உண்டு second கோலத்தில X2 என்ன கரச்பாண்டிங்க ஆயிலே இ கோலத்தினும் leading 1 உண்டு அது உண்டு X3 ஆனு நம்மல free variable ஐட்ட கண்சிட்டிரேன்து so let X3 equal to some constant K so correspondingly X1 is equal to 5 by 6 K and X2 equal to 7 by 6 K hence we solve the homogeneous linear system 
Next one is an application problem. Balance the chemical equation C2H6 plus O2 gives CO2 plus H2O. We want to find the positive integers x1, x2, x3, x4 satisfying this relation. One chemical equation balance in the particular molecule consider the reactants number of atoms products number of atoms same. For example, carbon on number consider in the angle. Equation balance the equation is the equation. 2 into x1 will be equal to x3. That is hydrogen is consider in the angle. 6x1 equal to 2x4. Oxygen the case la 2x2 equal to 2x3 plus x4. That is why we have to form the form. So, we have to form the standard formula. That is x1, ax1 plus bx2 plus cx3 plus X, uh, dx4 equal to 0. That is why we have to form the equation. Now, we have to find the values x1, x2, x3, x4 satisfying this homogeneous linear system. So, we consider the corresponding matrix 2, 0, minus 1, 0. 6 0 0 minus 2 and 0 2 minus 2 minus 1 and the in the right hand side there are zeros so we have to reduce this matrix to row reduced echelon form first of all we have to make the first element here as 1 so we will make the operation r1 becomes 1 by 2 r1 so the matrix becomes 1 0 minus 1 by 2 0 then here 6 0 0 minus 2 and 0 2 minus 2 minus 1 in order to make this element 6 as 0 we will take the negative of this element that is minus 6 then we will do the operation r2 becomes minus 6 r1 plus r2 then we will get a matrix like this in second row first non-zero element 3 third row first non-zero element so row equivalent formula ki maatunnadinai nammle ee 2 varuna kolathi 2 second kolathila oru non zero element varunnathu kondu nammle ee second and third rows interchange cheyunu adinesham ee element ne 1 aaki maatunu adinai 1 by 2 r2 cheyunu leading one inde mogalilum thaadeyumulla elements nammle zero aaki maati then third row ilulla element 1 aakunu adinu mogalilulla rendu elementsum nammle operations cheythu zero aaki maati now you can write the corresponding equations x1 minus 1 by 3 x4 equal to 0, x2 minus 7 by 6 x4 equal to 0 and x3 minus 2 by 3 x4 equal to 0. Here the free variable is x4. Karana is system no kikanyala first, second, third kalathil leading ones kananda. Third kalathil adilla. So sorry, fourth kalathil leading one illa. Adhunda fourth variable ananamla free variable I to consider another. So we will let x4 is equal to some k. Therefore x1 becomes 1 by 3k, x2 becomes 7 by 6k, and x3 becomes 2 by 3k. So this is the solution of the corresponding linear system. Paksha, namkata nirikinada e kanana equation balance and I don't balance the chain some either evade la corresponding molecule n namana namla other fraction varana villa. So namke lebicha equation la fraction or hagana re deal namkishtamulla or k namka choose yam and artam. If it a denominators monkey karina three yum six sumana nirikinada. Other one than a k namala six side to choose the gana, nam give it a denominator or like it. So we have the solution x1 is equal to 1 by 3 into 6. So here we put k is equal to 6 actually. So 1 by 3 into 6 is 2 and x2 is equal to 7 by 6 into 6 that is 7. x3 equal to 2 by 3 into 6 that is 4. And x4 is equal to k itself that is 6. So this is the solution of the corresponding linear system. And if we substitute these numbers in the, to the given chemical equation, it will be balanced. Now you may try to balance this chemical equation C5H8 plus O2 gives CO2 plus H2O. Now let us have some properties of homogeneous systems. Theorem, let Ax equal to 0 denote a homogeneous system of linear equations. If x1 is a solution of ax equal to 0, then so is cx1 for any constant c. 
If x1 and x2 are two solutions of ax equal to 0, then so is x1 plus x2. ax equal to 0 and homogeneous linear system in the solution on x1 angle, that is either multiple, this is the solution. That is ax equal to 0 and the system in the solutions on x1, x2 angle, that is the sum again, that is the solution. So let us prove this the result. First of all, suppose x1 is a solution of the linear system ax equal to 0. That is, if x is x1 substitute, the system will satisfy. So, we have ax1 equal to 0. We have to show that cx1 equal to, sorry, cx1 is a solution of this linear system. So, we substitute cx1 in the place of x. So, we have a into cx1 equal to. Here, this is the matrix multiplication. So, we can take c outside. C is only a constant. So, we have c into ax1. And ax1 equal to 0 matrix. So, we have c into 0 which is equal to 0. Actually, this is a 0 matrix. This shows that cx1 is a solution of the system ax equal to 0. Similarly, you suppose that x1 and x2 are two solutions of the linear system. So, in the place of x, we can substitute here x1 or x2. So, we have ax1 equal to 0 and ax2 equal to 0. Namukka kaani ke enda the x1 plus x2 e linear system in the solution aana e naana. So, x in a pagara namula x1 plus x2 substitute aim. So, we have a into x1 plus x2 equal to ax1 plus ax2. Kaarana matrix multiplication aana idha asks na distributive aana. Distributive property satisfy chain and the matrix multiplication. So, here ax1 equal to 0 and ax2 equal to 0. So, this is equal to the 0 matrix. This shows that x1 plus x2 is a solution of the linear system. Now, we will combine the two parts of the combined result. x1, x2, this is the linear system ax equal to 0. It is the solution. That is the linear combination. That is the cx1 plus cx2. This formula is the matrix of ax equal to 0. It is the solution. Because even and c2 are any constants. Moreover, this superposition principle extends to three or more solutions of ax equal to 0. If you have two solutions, you can see that ax equal to 0 and the system is 3 or more solutions. If you have any linear combination, this is the same solution. This result is the superposition principle. So, superposition principle says that if x1 and x2 are two solutions of ax equal to 0, then any linear combination cx1 plus c, c1, x1 plus c2, x2 is also a solution of the same linear system. Now, here we have a terminology. Suppose a linear system has m equations and n variables. If there are more equations than variables, that is m greater than n, then the system is said to be overdetermined. If the system has fewer equations than variables, that is m less than n, then the system is underdetermined. So, a linear system, that is homogeneous, a linear system, the number of equations, number of variables, in a system is overdetermined. Number of equations, number of variables, in a system is underdetermined. The underdetermined system is underdetermined. Homogeneous linear system in a case, we have to say that a homogeneous linear system is underdetermined in a way that is not zero all the solutions. Non-homogeneous system in a case, we have to say that a result is not zero. 